everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Michelle, coming to you on this dreary, rainy day in December. It is really rainy outside, I'm sitting right by my window and it has been gray cast all day, which has me feeling a type of way. I need some sun in my light, so that's why my lighting might look a little bit weird. It looks a little harsh. I got a light right here and I got the ring light in front of me. Um, so it's a little bit dimmer in here, but the spirit is bright. Tis the season. Is anybody just like me that just wants to get it over with? Like I don't even really want to do like, my husband had to drag that Christmas tree down the stairs and say, we gonna put up some daggone ornaments because I was not in the mood. I'm not feeling fa la 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 nothing. But of course, since we got the babies, you know, we want to make this year special for them so we are still going to go through with the festivities even though i don't feel like doing it don't give me no eggnog i don't want nothing no holiday cheer no y'all just go ahead and open your presents up and let's go so today is going to be a very simple quick video about this unit that i received from wild african and i'm really kind of excited about it because this is a cute little short bob it's got a bang you'll see um this is how it came it came in this bag. It is a CBW 43 and she's cute! She's cute. She is all of 12 inches so she's she's a little cute little bob thing going on and I happen to love bobs. I think bobs are where it's at. That's why I cut my hair a year ago and uh, botched it and that's why y'all haven't seen my natural hair in so long because we got to grow out the mess okay? We got to grow it out. So this one the cap construction is a little different it doesn't come with one of these stretchy bands. It has three combs, two temple and one crown comb. And then it has one in the back right here with your adjustable straps. So it's a very roomy, spacious, comfy cap construction. I just realized I did not bring Shaquafala out here. Child, she gonna get me. So it has a bang. So I don't really feel like I'm gonna need to do anything to my hairline. I am gonna wear this glueless. I'm gonna plop this on my head because remember we're trying to protect and save those natural hairlines. Even if you got a pushback one like mine, let's keep it. So I'm going to pop her on my head. <laughs> ah! What in the world? Oh ma'am. Yes ma'am. No ma'am. Yes ma'am. She's giving me Mary Tyler Moore, she can turn the world on with her smile. Okay, since I am the queen of transformation, I'm going to cut the lace off first and then I can see what we're working with here. But I like, I already like, okay. I like where it's going. I like where it could go. We'll see. I'm gonna cut the lace really quick and I'm gonna use these adorable tiny scissors that I found. I don't even know why I have these scissors, but these are great and they're so cute. Can you see them? Look how small they are. So I can get really close to that hairline when I cut it. So I'm gonna give her a little brush. She's got a lot of bounce. She's got a lot of body. She's got personality, okay? So let's try her on. I didn't even put any foundation on the bottom of this wig. She can turn the world on with her smile. Here we go. You're gonna make it. Got a cute little thing. So this is what the wig looks like when I just put it on. But knowing me, I like to show a little forehead. So I'm probably going to use some spray and try to separate some of these things. I'm gonna use my Babyless, and I'm gonna give it a slight bump. Yeah, that's that's better already. <laughs> I don't know what that was, sorry. I don't know if I want to keep this flip. I'm thinking no, so I'm going to take my flat iron 
and I'm going to curl it under and see what that gives us. Maybe I could just brush it under. Let's use the daggone curling iron. Oh, that's cute. That's a little size swoop de boop. Reminds me of the 90s. Ooh. Or we could just make it like straight. Let's try to do the whole thing with a slight under bump. That's the technical term for it. Ryan Little. <laughs> Try to make these bangs a little bit more PC. Did you know that was an old trick back in the day to keep your makeup fresh, to spray your face with hairspray? I'm not lying. There's the crunch. There we go. Some behind our ear for a cute little page boy feel. I like it. Simple. And quick. Turn to the side. Show you guys the back. She's got good flow. Perfect work wig. We're going out wig. And since this is glueless, y'all gotta be careful about this ear flap. Don't be out there with your flaps flying in the wind now. Simple, sweetheart hair. That's what I'm gonna call this. Cause it looks like it's very professional, but it's also very, very cute and very, very girly. I like it. One thing I will say is that if you're wearing something like this, this kind of wig, make sure that your foundation is straight because if you got bumps in your head, it is going to be seen. And that is what I have a little bit going on because my braids are just a little bit bulky underneath my hair. So it's sleek, but it could be sleeker. It could always be sleeker. The next time I braid my braids a little tighter or something, I don't know. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. All the information about this beautiful girl, this unit, is gonna be in the description box below. And I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Did I say that? I think I said that already. All right. Love you guys. <laughs>